and his record time. Ninety-seven thousand at Wembley saw the Brazilians in dark shirts kick off against England, who straight away set the stands roaring with their opening onslaught. It served to reveal the weakness of Brazil's defence, and within two minutes the forwards took their chance as Taylor finished the movement with a goal. Forty-one-year-old Stanley Matthews, who was playing major football before many of his teammates were born, was in fine form. Within two minutes, one of his passes was the start of a sequence which gave Granger his opening for goal number two. Two down, the Brazilians tried everything they knew, but it didn't alter the score. After the interval, they began to make progress. And in the 54th minute, Santos centred and Almeida's shot went in, off left back burn. A minute later, they brought off the equaliser when a high shot from Pereira was turned into the net by Reg Matthews. Tense international crisis arose almost immediately. An incident caused the French referee to award England a penalty, whereupon Brazil's inside right walked off with the ball in a huff. It returned, but Atio's kick was a failure. The Brazilians didn't have to worry until 12 minutes later when magician Matthews passed to Atio, who headed to Taylor, who headed the third goal. England were playing magnificently, but much of the credit must go to Matthews. He has another neat centre, headed in by Granger for the fourth goal of a splendid victory. 